uh, not on uh, Sweet Bean, a Japanese film. Uh, and I'm thinking about the title. It might be that the original title is something like uh, Sweet Red Bean Paste or something. Uh, or Toriyaki. Or, because um, the local translation was different. And since it's so complicated, I don't, I don't think they, I, I think they have the original better because they won't go to the trouble of making such a complicated uh, name for the film if it would be simple. So I'm, I'm thinking the, 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 the version for the English speaking market is actually a bridge. Anyway, it's, it has to do with a few Japanese characters, the main ones being a man who has seen some trouble in his life and uh, 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 an, an old woman who has suffered, maybe, yeah, even I'm not sure, uh, of leprosy. Uh, he's working at this stand, which is selling, I don't know what to call them, I, I think it's Doriaki, the Japanese name. Uh, they are not pancakes, they are not donuts. Uh, they are sweet, but at, at, at the moment they're talking about a version which is salty. And they're made of this paste, uh, which is uh, produced out of bread. Japanese baby beans. Uh, and uh, he's working in this shop where Japanese uh, students, young girls from high school or something, come. And uh, others as well, obviously. And this woman, this old woman, 70 years or more, I mean, 70 something years old. She's coming, she says, I, I, want, I would like to work here. He's not just reluctant, he's not for it, but she insists, uh, he's, he feels pity, he looks at her hands, and in fact they have a conversation where she, he says, well, but would you manage to lift the pots that are heavy? And, well, maybe you do that. And what about, uh, you know, uh, using the, the, the spoon, big spoons and because with your hands and things. Ah, uh, well, 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 manage it. And indeed, finally, she comes in, she, uh, before that, I, before that, she's giving him to taste. Look, you have this, and she, he, he's testing this, uh, this uh, paste of red beans, and it's wonderful. Indeed, when she starts working, uh, the doriaki she makes, uh, the best he's ever had, and people are happy, they notice the change. Before that, he used something ready-made, as we all do. He would, product will come in big boxes, and he will put them on, on the fire. Now this is the woman who's uh, talking poetry, something like haiku. She, she talks about uh, thinking of the, she thinks about what the beans uh, go through, and the wind, and the sun, and the, 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 the moon. So this is an invitation also to enjoy better and go into the details of them. They were shown the beans as they uh, are being moved around like sand, like you know, in the Japanese gardens. And uh, so it's an elaborate process, and we need to go behind that and enjoy and taste. She smells the different smell of the vapors from when they're cooking. In interesting. Alas, the, the owner, he's not the owner, the man working there, he's not the owner. In fact, he has a huge debt to pay because he did some bad things in his past. And the owner of the shop ha has paid this the debt for him, and now he will have to work all his life, we're told. Uh, but he takes a step, hires the woman, when the owner comes, she says, but this is, I mean, she, she, where she, she lives there, this is where the, the, the peppers live. Oh, no, no, you have to fire her. And um, he doesn't. Uh, for some time, the woman comes back with her, her nephew or so, 
looks effeminate. No offense, I mean, no trouble there, but he doesn't seem too nice. And um, uh, there's also a, 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 a student involved who has a canary. She cannot keep it in her house, and they try to place the canary in the home where the uh, woman suffering from leprosy lives. And it's uh, an interest, in, interesting game playing all around. 